Hello and welcome back to Forts and today we are going to be showing off the Acidic Ammo mod here in the Vast Mountains map. It's a uh, Fast Mountains 4v4 and uh, well, I'm actually interested to see exactly how this mod works. I checked it out a little bit in Sandbox but haven't, haven't really haven't really played with it at all. It adds a new tech structure called the Chemistry Lab, and then a couple new weapons, the uh, Acidic Mortar and Acidic Rocket, which appear to be uh, mortars and rockets respectively, except that they um, have an extra acidic, uh, shall we say, um, feature to them. And we'll, we'll get to show that off pretty quickly here, I hope. So let's go ahead and get the regular armory to work our way up the tech tree, and then go ahead and get the chemistry lab once that's down. Let's make sure that we get our turbines going on. 65% here. Okay, let's go up one more level and then get our turbines here. There we go. I am going to want another mine, but I do want a turbine down first, just so we can get that process going. Sell off a couple of lows, which will get us the monies to jump us forward toward one more mine. There we are. Neat. Much better. So we do have a 4v4 here against uh, random internet denizens and some members of the community. It's like nothing terribly exciting off. This is a, a one of my more favorite maps, just because it's quite exciting. Look at the, you have this structure back here that you could build into. You have I have these kind of stair steppy platforms I can work toward. Uh, this base is in a hole, and this one's in the sky on a floating island. It's so peaceful until it's about to get until it gets mortared horrendously, and then it's not peaceful anymore. But what I like most about this map is that it's it's not it's vanilla esque. But it's also in the sense that all the structures start with a kind of vanilla style setup. But, uh, well, I mean vanilla style. It's not style, but they have a similar amount of starting resources where you don't have to do anything terribly exciting. A, a vanilla, the same build that works on a vanilla map will work very similarly here. But it's very different in that you get these, these neat little bonuses for doing little feats of construction around or just dealing with being in the sky or in a hole, which is always kind of cool. This player opting to upgrade his existing mines rather than building new ones. Never, never a good decision. Uh, do not recommend. Keep in mind that upgraded mines take longer to uh, go net positive than regular mine, than building a new one. So don't, don't do that. And I think I'm going to go with the, well, I can go with both options actually, both mortars and rockets. Now that I think about it, because uh, getting this acid tech structure allows allows access to both. But I think mortars are going to be my, my premium option here, despite these players going to be able to provide uh, lots of air superior, or lots of, uh, shall we say, um, air defenses. I think giving the option to just spam out mortars is going to be going to be the preferred preferred method to success here, and I'll just put three mortars across here, like so. Can I put more? Yeah, I, mean, I do want a sniper. I do want sniper to go high, though. So let me work on getting some turbines down and stuff. Alright, so these are actually not cheap. Let's see here. These are worth cost 200 or 350 350 metal. And they're also not light, apparently. So I have to keep in mind what's going on there. I do want another turbine down. Uh, yes, I know I built this this mine here and I got rid of a lot of my forward bracing. I'm okay with this because I have a teammate in front of me to take shots from me. <laughs> And let's see what else do we have here. Got those going. I want to get the third one down, though. Apparently, these things are not cheap at all. Like a regular mortar costs 200 metal and 1,000 energy, and these cost 350 metal and 2,000 energy to fire. So this is gonna get a little rough real quick. I'm just gonna wait for wait for all three to become available. That way, it's a bit more of a surprise to my my enemies once they start firing. How much do these cost to fire? Uh, 600 energy to fire, that's also more expensive. But we'll get to show them off pretty quickly here. Hopefully the the, team, the enemies don't look over here. Just just don't look at me and we'll be fine. Looks like there's some mortars going up there. Those are standard mortars. So a couple machine gunners should help out against that. There we go. And let's get rid of that machine gun just completed construction. And these are ready to go. So let's do this. Fire all three. Oof. Yes! And they just kind of burn down and dig into things, which I didn't know they did. I, I knew they had a kind of a burning down into things aspect. I didn't know they could actually like start digging, which is kind of powerful. So if I land them all the way up here, then they'll just start burning all the way down. And they apparently get rid of energy shields real easy, which is good to know. So let's start 
and start working on working on these things. Uh, you have a machine gunner up there that's getting rid of my stuff, and I want it to not be there anymore. So that would be Thank you. Want another storage? Uh, do these have an upgrade? They do not have an upgrade, which is unfortunate. So just keep firing these guys. Get another turbine here. Gonna build an energy shield up there. You going? you guys over here and this should no not quite i was kind of hoping that it would be able to hit all the way up top uh looks like friend over there is building some anti-air yeah we're, we're digging through the back of his base let's do this like so i do have a couple machine gunners uh not enough to make me happy build an energy shield here hopefully those rockets don't come to me they are not let's keep this going i do want an upgrade center to start getting better economy and such I'm going to... what was that? Is that an enemy sniper? That was an enemy sniper. Let's... where are you? Down below. I don't know if I can hit you with my sniper. I can, so let's go ahead and sell you off. Where are you? Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's rough. Let's go ahead and try to help out our teammate a little bit. By getting more weapons and fielding them. Or more accurately, by using ours to launch them all the way up to the top. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Okay. So I want to have you built back here, and by you I mean another sniper, but way back here and elevated slightly. This is, uh, this is rough. This was all cross braced, I'm just building really tall back here, so let's go ahead and do this. I wonder if these explode, do they explode and drop their acid everywhere, because that would be unfortunate. And so that's a little high, or a little low. Fire this, put you on hotkey one. Oh look, there's the cannon! And it's burning! It's being melted! Haha, that's what we're looking for. Alright, so you max power, thank you. If we can hit his cannon once with the sniper, then that'll be the end of end of his ability to do things. And then I can hit that sniper right down here. And this. And keep you going. Let's see, those, those gunners are nice and safe behind... Oh, there's another sniper. No, I didn't get it off in time. Oh, but the acid... Acid's doing work. Look at that, it's melting away the... Inter We're just melting his base into non-existence. Look at this. Gone! And it's gone! Fully, fully melted nuclear reactor. That's... that I call a good time. So where is... Is he going to build another sniper in the same spot? A lot of players like to do that. A lot of players like to do that just very, very consistently. Just, ooh dear. Snipe it, snipe it, snipe it! Ooh! Ooh, machine gunner got it just in the nick of time. Let's go ahead and get a machine gunner here to help out against this whole problem of being shot at by acid things. Acid's my job! Let's go ahead and keep this up. That landed in a good spot. And this will also land, I believe, in just about the same spot. Yes, there is. There we go. I mean, melted away his own uh, acid launcher. That's a lot of snipers. You built three snipers in the same spot. Let's uh, get rid of them one by one. Uh, well, you know, that's one way to stop me from sniping all your things. Just uh, just build so many that the sniper rate of fire can't get rid of them all. Oh no, 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 no. What are the rockets hit my acid mortar? No, 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 Ah, uh, that's great. Alright, just start doing this hole. Oh dear, nope, flak. Get it, get it, get it before the door closes. Nope, it's okay. We'll get it next time. Boom. One less flak to worry about. Here. Hey, we, and he, his rocket up there is exposed. Uh, it looks like it didn't drop, it just exploded into fire. It didn't drop a... Didn't drop any acid on the ground, so I don't have to worry about it, about it destroying my own base slowly from the top down. If if it uh if it does happen to blow up on my base, so if these mortars are nice and clear and safe, and I'm just gonna keep firing them, safe acid because that's something that you'll ever hear again in another statement ever. Let's see how are you doing. Can I hit your tech structure? I'm not sure if I can hit your tech structure. Okay. Ooh. Ooh.
core base is being gutted from the bottom. Yep, and the cannon comes in to finish it off. Alright, one base remaining. And that's it! GG! Alright, so let's go ahead and hop into round two. And we're off to round two, and this time we're on perm- Wow, I can't even go back here. Okay, well, this time we're on permafrost. Uh, let's just start working on our technology. Uh, permafrost 4v4, another one of my favorite maps. A map that I don't get to play a whole lot because, uh... It causes a lot of people to collapse their bases. Uh, one of the reasons I like it, one of the reasons why I enjoy it so much, is that it's very uh, strange. It's one of these maps where you have to build out and actually do unique things with the building system in this game, rather than just you know like rushing for something or another. So I'm going to start working on that process, like so. That should help stabilize this a little bit. It's all from just back and forth while I work toward my uh, my only mineral platform this way. I don't remember being in this back base before. I usually get one of the forward bases, which is uh, allows for, well, more more chaotic things to happen. Uh, this is not a good, not very strong place. Let's just build it all the way up there. It's fine. It's fine. Not even. No. Like so. Now we have this, and we can get another mine. Can we fit three back here? I just realized we could fit this all the way back here. I am going to make this perfect. Yes. One, and, uh, out of money. But at least our technology is done, so I could work on getting the acid factory the moment this, the moment I have the money for it. I'm also going to be running out of energy real quick here. Let's see. We can also build up to that location, though I think, I think just getting these... Four or five mines shall be sufficient. Oh no, only okay, so only two mines can fit back here. Okay then, uh, let's go up a little bit more and then work on our turbine emplacements. Uh, so I'm gonna disconnect this real quick. Don't have to fully disconnect, there we go. And then we can put our turbines up here. Now it says 58%, and that's because this is in the way, but I'm going to fix that momentarily. That won't help me. Pretty connected, and that will help slightly. Alright, so I'm going to get this, and then start saving up for the uh, next technology that we desire. Uh, let's see, what's another good way of handling this? Do I need this here? I don't need this here, that's just adding weight. Let's rotate down a little bit. This is good, like so, and then I won't need this. Gone, and then this is not needed. Nice! So that won't be causing a lot of weight, and then it'll just kind of dangle there without an issue. Uh, I need to save up for this guy, we're almost there, and perfect. Now, I'm going to have to connect to this in order to build weapons, or I could build, I guess technically, no, mortars are not going to reach that far. So I'm just going to have to gonna have to deal with it. Let's get some batteries down here, where they're nice and safe, way behind the wall. And that's what's nice about being back here. We have this all this space to work on, and our teammates are left out in the open like this guy just hanging here. But I'm going to have to move forward to help them out sooner than later, because I don't trust people to uh, not cause themselves to lose the game. Oh yeah, the one thing about RTS is you, you can't beat your opponent until you beat the game. You fight the game and then you fight your opponent. If your if your build isn't good enough to uh, get out weapons before other players, then you're gonna have other problems. So uh, I don't remember if this can connect. No, doesn't. What about over here? I just gotta connect to this guy. I was contemplating letting my teammate have that little platform, but I kind of want it because then I can get out some seriously large bracing over here. Oh. Okay, this is fine. This is fine, too. So now we'll get out some large bracings here. I'll get rid of this and turn this into three and a half sized platforms. That way we can get some some rockets out of this guy. Uh, we did mortars last time. Well, mortars can work pretty well on this map, especially in certain positions. I do want to go with the rockets. Much better. There we go. One more up there, we can. Mix this up, and this. Sounds like my, one of my teammates is already getting hit by rockets, which is not a surprise. Like this, and I'll start from the top down. These things are expensive. 
not cheap at all. They cost 500 metal, 4,500 energy. That's, uh, that's more than, that's more than a fire beam, to put that in perspective. So, we're, we're dealing with a lot of work here. We have a lot of, a lot of mines needed. Let's keep this up. Just one more right there, so we'll get a couple rockets. I think that we're gonna have to do, um, some sniper strats as well as some machine gunners. I don't think I can build this out in my team. So I'll get the machine gunners here. Uh-oh. He got hit by something. Oh, it looked like it went through an open door and just started digging away at his base. Let's get some door on these before opening fire there. I do not want to risk risk losing those. Those are quite the hefty investment. All right, so I have one more door this here. My base is under fire now for mortars. Um, hmm. Let's, let's stop that from happening real quick. Let's get a couple gunners. We are gonna need so many more turbines to build this. Rockets are so expensive. Right. you on a hotkey. You guys on a hotkey for suppression reasons. And start firing. Alright. Double acid rocket. That's a flak. Where'd that flak come from? That didn't feel like it was from behind a door. Or was it? Come on, get rid of things! Okay, now where did that flak come from? It was there. Okay, now it is behind doors. It's just far enough away that it's working. So I got hit from a rocket from somewhere else. Was it? Where did I get hit from? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's fine, it's fine. Alright, and floating resources. Let's, let's fix this problem. Batteries, and one more of you. And I do need an upgrade center as well as some more energy production. Did you guys in your own little hot key? Hey, we gotta hit him. Let's start melting things. You have exposed gunners up there. Let's try to knock those out of, out of commission. It's one down. Get the other one? Yes, I can. Now, these things did seem to have extra health, so I won't be able to snipe them like so, but if I get the upgrades to the sniper, which I haven't started my upgrade center yet, despite saying that I was going to, let's do this, and we should be all right. Ooh, boy, that's a, that's a lot more rockets. We need to start really dealing with this. Uh, let's see, that flak angle down is going to be a problem. If I can... Okay, so there should be a flak right there. Can I get rid of it? Nope. Oh, well. There goes that pre aim sniper that was working so toward. So this is good. This player up here... Should be... Because that... Yeah, that flak... That putting the door on the flak means we should have pretty free reign to just melt everything over there without too much of an issue. Let's get another... another rock here. There we go. And you've already got a door on you. Oh, that's the shot we're looking for. So that should be a good sniper shot. It unhotkeyed. Oh, because I accidentally hotkeyed sniper over that same position. Okay, so this is good. I just want to aim this guy right here and then snipe. But open the flak. Nope, too low by slightly. Hey, the standard cannon comes in for the win. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Acid doors, stop it. Fine. Things are fine. It's on fire. It's on fire though. Got nice cannon placement. You can see how he's got them angled upward? Gives them just that much better to fire out. Oh, this could be a problem. Uh. Uh. Ah! Uh, you're fine. There we go. Right, melt it. We got a hit on it. Now, will the melting continue it into its destruction? Ooh, that's a lot of flak. Okay. So that looks like a good sniper shot. One more. Yeah, that is a very good sniper shot. All we gotta do is bait his flak once more. And we fire. Got it. Okay. So now these should be pretty clear to fire. I think he did have one more flak up top. Yeah, he did, but it's exposed because you could tell how quickly it responded. All I gotta do is get that sniper shot up there. And where did it go? Uh, it's just further back. There it is. Okay. 
So now he's got no more anti-air, and we'll send these rockets straight into his core. There it is! That's the shot we're looking for, and he's gone! Fully melted into oblivion. Now we gotta worry about this guy and this guy over here. I'm curious he's been getting mortared because he's got a lot of defenses back there to worry about. There we go. Looks like my teammate building up in front of me. Uh, he's giving me just a little bit of space to work with. Uh, sniper no longer useful though. So I'm just gonna sell him off. I don't really mind. He's built, He's getting more firepower to help deal with what's going on here. So it's not like he's doing it to troll or whatnot. I'm uh, gonna sell this off and this off as well. But this is going to mean I have no more anti. anti air. or anti anti air. Uh, just strict map suppression options. So I have no snipers, no more room for them, no more room for machine gunners. There is only more rockets and more melting available to us. Yes. We want to keep burning all the way through. Let's go ahead and double do these up while we can. Activate commander ability for bonus resources. Aim these this group a little bit lower. This should Shash should start getting through this wall. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of mortars. He's gonna be firing up and over. I'm gonna need some uh, additional turbines out of this. Let's see, can I connect to this over here? Just to help add some extra connections. Why are you not? Ooh. And that's another one gone. He burned through it, or melted through it, and then, uh, cannon came into the finish. And I think the cannon is gonna have to be the finisher here. As nice as these rockets are, they're not great for precision hits, just on basis of them being rockets. And we need to pretty precise hits. Although, as I say that, I'm watching the acid hit all the way up here and melt all the way down through his base. It's, uh, just refiring these. It's, it's working out. Better than I expected. Yeah, look at that. It's all the way over here and it moves in right along his core. So I still suspect the cannon will get the finishing blow. At least it should. Come on. There we go. There's the refire. He's trying to get... Oh no, that's his technology. For a moment I thought that was going to be a flak, but I don't suspect he's going to survive. Yeah, but look at that acid shot coming all the way back here. Starting to melt things along the way. Come on, cannons. End it. Do it, cannons. Seems like such a long time. Here we go. Oh no! There it is. There's the acid on point, and it's gone! GG. Alright guys, if you want to see some more of these acid ammunition shenanigans, make sure to check back on our live streams every Saturday at 9.30pm Eastern Standard Time. But for now, I'll see you guys later!